Hello, welcome to Inzara's Geographic Heat Map Excel template. You can find more information about this template here at www.inzara.blogspot.com. I'm going to quickly go there. This is the blog post about the template, and this is to create heat maps which look like these at the state level for India. Here's the link where you can download this template for free. There's more information about this template, but in this video, we'll do a quick demo of how to use this template. I'm going to go back to my template. So this is, this is the template. As you can see here, there's information about states and union territories of India here in these two columns. And then there's a heat map here. So the template comes along with some data but you can choose to delete all this data and replace it with your own data whatever it may be and for example let me just copy from an external source another spreadsheet and then paste the values here and you can see instantly that the um, the heat map gets updated now uh, the couple of things to note here one these names of the states and union territories have to be spelled the same way as they are here. So for example, for Uttar Pradesh, you can't really say UP, you have to say Uttar Pradesh. Otherwise, the map will not be able to detect that information. The order of the states and the union territories is not really that important. You can enter information in any order. For example, we have Andhra Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. Let's say Arunachal Pradesh has a reddish color, whereas the Andhra Pradesh is greenish because the Andhra Pradesh has um, a much larger number here. And the gradient for the heat map here is the lowest values would be in red and the highest would be in dark green. You can see here Andhra Pradesh is much higher than Arunachal Pradesh. But let's say we change, for example, this data to Arunachal Pradesh and immediately you can see that Arunachal Pradesh has become green instead of red because the number is higher. And Andhra Pradesh word was originally um, green and now it's become red because the number is much lower now. So this is why the order does not matter, but the spelling is very important. So please use the same spellings as they are here. And you can enter any data here in this data column, any numeric data and the the heat map should be reflecting that. So another use case here, I've deleted all the data here. So that brings everything to the dark green because everything is the highest. Now, but let me um, see, for example, if I want to highlight Jammu and Kashmir, then all I have to do is to put a positive number here and you know it could be any number. But now you can see that Jammu and Kashmir is highlighted in this entire map of India clearly, which you can use for presentations um, where you need to highlight a specific state and the location of the state in the whole country. Another thing to note here, this map is actually an image. So if you right click on it, you can see that you can copy this image. And so you could potentially copy and then you can go to your other applications. For example, I'm going to go to the heat, uh, the PowerPoint here. And let's say I want to paste that um, image, for example. So I can paste that as a picture right here. What happens here is that the image that we had in Excel template is now av available for you in your presentations. Uh, and you could format it just like any other picture. So for example, now I've pasted that image here on the slide in PowerPoint and you can um, see that now it's ready for presentation purposes. I'm going to go back to my template here. And another thing that you could do is to actually just print it. It is already set up for printing. So all you need to do is to go click print and then you would be able to see the data and the map on a single page. Thanks for watching again. I hope that this template is useful for you to create your own heat maps with the data that you have at the state level for India. As always, Feel free to share your feedback on my blog here at inzara.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.